Hey everybody, thank you for watching my Glendale Garden and I'm going to quickly show you guys my plant haul placement of where I'm planting all of the plants. So let's get started. Um, first, we're going to be putting the broccoli, oh sorry, cauliflower right in this section. And I just added these stepping stones the other day because this flower bed is four feet and it's really hard to get back here to do maintenance or even pick um, any produce out. So I just added a couple of those to help me out. And then over here we have the white crown um, cauliflower. And then that's gonna go on this side. And then I'm going to put some peas right here. And then over here I'm going to put the Malbar spinach. And I'm going to buy a couple more strawberry plants to put right here. And then I am putting the two strawberries on either side. And I have this strawberry plant in this container which is not hooked up to um, the drip right now at the moment, but I need to go out to the hardware store and purchase some more supplies. But there is a runner right here connected and it's in the ground already. So whenever it's big enough and starts uh, pushing more leaves, I can cut it off the mother plant and then I can put this runner into the ground and hopefully create a new strawberry plant and then i was out here earlier and i planted the celebrity tomato in the flower bed that i have the pumpkins growing in because my pumpkins they're not doing so hot so i'm going going to plant onions in here also And then if we go over here on this side, I did have the seeds in the ground and the birds got to them. As you can see the ground all, I guess, sloshed over and picked over because it did have like a nice little mound and the birds, they will destroy anything that you put down and they find seeds. Like if you put down seeds, they'll find them. <laughs> And then I'm going to put um, my artichoke right here because it says three to six hours of sun. And I think that will be perfect and it will get some shade from the hot afternoon sun right here. And then I did hang up a wasp um, bag catcher and they don't seem to take any liking to it so they're still in this pepper plant and I haven't harvested anything in here because I'm I'm scared to go into there see like I don't know what he's doing in there and I am scared to get even remotely close to that so over here I planted these two um, indeterminate big boys and I went out to Walmart and did pick up the um, what is it called the sport the cage supports for 50 cents I bought 12 of those so it was like six dollars definitely worth waiting um, when you know they take out their summer stuff and have to put their holiday stuff and they need room and they got to put it on clearance and I'm okay with that um let's see and I, oh look, I had the, the monsoon came out and um, washed my seeds that I had in here and some zinnias floated out so I just let them sprout and do their thing. I also planted one tomato here and then I'm going to plant some more onions in here also. And then for the other broccoli... I'm going to pop those over there underneath the, 
um, in between some of the tomato plants. And then once the edamame and the tomatillo um, get pulled out and moved, like removed out of the bed, I'm going to put um, some of the tomatoes also in there. Um, and then the snapdragons, I'm saving those for a, um, a container. Um, well, that was pretty much it for a little quick update. And how I am digging the holes is I use um, a drill with an auger at the end of it. So you just make a hole and it's, it's pretty easy. So planting is really fast. So I'll go and all, all the holes that I need to, and then I will just go in with an amendments. Usually I use um, plant tone, um, but for today I am using the Spoma Biotone, and I will be sprinkling, sprinkling a couple tablespoons into each hole, because um, that's all I have right now on hand. Um, I need to go pick up some more, but yeah. Um, well, I'm going to just start planting and get these in the ground and then I will um, show you guys within a week or two what they look like. And I'm really excited for fall to finally hit. Right now, it's, it's really nice to be outside. So planting is a perfect time for right now. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.